Hello and welcome to yet another Flux tutorial. Whether you are designing in Flux or other tools like Altium or Cadence and want to tap into the power of AI to expedite your design test plans creation, this is the video you've been looking for. We are going to go over how to import your projects into Flux, how to set up your project for success, and then start by generating functional design test plans. We are then going to finish off by outlining functional areas which don't, but should have test points. With that said, let's get started. As an example project, I went ahead and downloaded an open source laptop webcam module project from the Altium community. But these steps are the same whether you have a Cadence project or your project exists in Flux. If your project already exists in Flux, you can skip this step, but if it doesn't, follow along. So I just prepared an example uh, product requirements document where I consolidated all my project description, objective, key features, and some technical requirements. You might have this elsewhere, that's totally fine. Head over to your profile on Flux, and then click the drop down, go to import, and then I want to go to Altium schematic document. If you are dealing with a Cadence project, you would choose this option. I'm going to choose the Altium schematic document, and since we are dealing with a multi schematic uh, project, then I want to highlight all the schematic documents, click open. Flux is going to enumerate all the components in the project, and then I just want to click import. It's going to take a minute and then I'll be redirected to the newly created Flux project. Now I can hover above my schematic just to see how it's looking. I think this is okay. Now let's set up this project to get the most out of Copilot. The first thing I want to do is just rename the project. I'll copy the name and then paste it here. The other thing I want to do is go over to the inspector tab where I have the description. I'll copy and paste this executive summary, at least a part of it, into the project description. Now the next thing I want to do is move over the objective, key features, and the technical requirements over to Flux. So how I want to do this is go to my properties where there's an add button, I click it and then just type the first thing as objective, click add. I also want to add key features and then finally the technical requirements. And then I'll just copy and paste all this information over to Flux. Having done that now, I can begin talking to Copilot. The first thing I want to create is a failure mode and effect analysis report. Remember, this is a document which highlights as many components or as many subsystems as possible in an attempt to identify potential failure modes in the system and their cause and effects. So I do this by right clicking on my canvas, choosing Copilot, and I can either generate a failure modes and effects analysis report by just choosing this option, and I'm going to do that. Or Another way to do this is if you have a custom prompt, which I do, and I'm going to leave it in the comments down below, right click on the canvas, choose Copilot, and instead of creating uh, the report from here, I can choose ask a question. So I do that. I want to work with the librarian, and then I want to copy and paste my prompt and hit send. As Copilot works on this too, I'll go ahead and ask for a functional design test plan. So I also have a custom prompt. I go to Copilot, ask a question, and then go to librarian, paste the prompt there, and then send. This can also be done in two ways, and I'm going to do that. So the bottom prompts are going to be my custom prompts, and the top ones are going to be the ones you get on this option. So I'll just choose create test plan and let Copilot do its thing. We are going to go over all this in just a second. I want Copilot to be running in the background as we are exploring all these options. 
So right click on the canvas, choose Copilot, ask a question, and then I also want to paste my prompt here. And then send, All right? So let's look at the first prompt. This one was a simple failure mode and defects analysis report. And we get to see there can be failures in the power regulation, that's failure in the LDOs and a severity level of nine, this are out of 10. And then we have a risk priority number over here. Close it and then check out the custom prompt for the failure mode and effects analysis report. To get more room, you can drag this inspector tab all the way to the right and then it will just pop and close. I want to exp expand all this and just look at what Copilot is saying. We have the components responsible and the potential effects those components are likely to have. Also, we have a risk priority number. So this is the one which I'll actually save. So I want to download, save as, all right. Now let's look at our, I can move this out of the way. Now let's look at our design test plans. So this is the one you get from the, from the context menu. And you can see we have a visual inspection as the first thing. We also get to see tools needed and what we expect. So I think this is good, but let's look at the other results that we get. So if I just go over a quick explanation of what the prompt does, we provide a brief summary and we're going to see that. And then for each of the areas outlined in the testing and validation section, remember this section we got from our product requirement document here. We want to just outline and explain the specific tests needed and also give an overview of the expected behavior and uh, criteria for when you know our test is passed. So that's what you see here. We have, first of all, image sensor performance requirement. And here, you know, there's a resolution and frame rate image quality, which we just, uh, we can inspect by checking the captured video and inspecting the frames. Finally, let's look at the prompt, which we had as a generic one. Now in this, test plan, I want to check whether all these nets or whether all these functional areas have test points. And I'm just going to ask Copilot, right, while that executes, I want to go to the final test plan creation prompt and see what it gives us. So this explicitly defines which areas you want to create test plans for. So there's a functional testing here. There's a power integrity testing, signal integrity testing, and a bit of environmental and safety compliance testing. So Copilot identifies there's a camera module. There are MEMS microphone, light sensors, capacitive touch sensors, and then also this is a connector. And then we get to see for each component, what are the expected behavior, test conditions, and also expected output. And that goes for the functional test cases, power integrity, um, power signal integrity, and all the functional areas that exist. So this seems more reasonable and these are the files which I'm going to save and maybe later combine them into one. But let's also ask Copilot to check that all these functional areas do indeed have test points. So I'm going to copy and paste the previous prompt and then hit send. And while Copilot checks for this, let's see if it has results for the previous prompt. So you can see for the VCC net, we have a test point, the image sensor, we do not have test points. Also for the microphones, the same thing. You can now decide whether you want more test points or this suffices and then move on to sending a board for manufacturing. Now let's check what the other prompt gives us. So we can see 
pretty much the same thing. Ground has test points. A control, I believe this is the enable line, has a test point. And also power integrity, that section has test points and the list goes on and on. So you can save this document and decide whether you want to add more test points or this suffices. And that's a wrap for this video. Until next time, have a great time.